most of the pictures here in the window weren't taken by Fuller. In some moment of blinding inspiration, he must have decided to get some proper photographers to promote his business. Of course, they have no idea just how lucky they've been. What a flashy thing that is. Probably some tourist cool ride. Europeans in particular confuse New England with California and think they should be driving around in convertibles, Mustangs. I've seen such an old bubblegum machine for years. It belongs to the diner. They do that whole nostalgia thing in there too. No thanks. A red, white, and blue string of lights. God bless America. Burgers, fries, and drinks. What more could you need? Oh, nice. That's stinking garbage, and I have no particular interest in it. How nice. That's... Yeah, just down the street. Thanks a lot. Some people. That's Mrs. Biber, I think. As far as I can understand it, she runs this place with her husband. Um, excuse me. What can I get you, my boy? Actually, I'm, I'm here to give you something. It's... it's from Fuller in the photo store. Psst. Hey, come over here. I can guess what this is about. The dirty old swine! I should have known. Vermin is so easy to get rid of. Tell him I... Ugh. Um... You better tell him yourself, uh, whatever it is you... Uh... Claire! You gonna talk all day? The customers are waiting! Get out of here, and tell your boss he can go to hell. Jeez. What the hell was that all about then? Huh. She sure didn't seem to be a fan of Fuller's. I got that much. And the guy in the kitchen, he sure wasn't supposed to see that she had mail. Ketchup, mustard, mayo, salt, pepper, syrup, sugar, huh. and a bottle of vinegar. I'll take some bread. Mrs. Bible won't mind. There's everything you'd expect from a diner, from breakfast and lunch to coffee and cake, right up to dinner. A big, ugly, plastic lobster. Not particularly appetizing. They're supposed to represent something like portholes. In reality, they're glazed display cabinets. Hello? Young man! You're Darren Michaels, aren't you? Yes, and you are? Oh, excuse me. My name is Newhouse. I'm a doctor at the health center. <laughs> at the health center? You mean at the hospital out there? Well, yes. We call it the 
Biddeford Health Center. We, we aren't just a hospital. We have yoga courses and cookery courses and... And what do you want from me? I, yes, I, I know your mother, Darren. We had a date here this morning, to be more precise. Me and her. We wanted to hang up some pictures your mother painted in the health center. Yes, and she... She's not there. She's normally always... She's always punctual, isn't she? This kind of thing never happens. Look, I don't have a lot of time right now. I'll give her a call, okay? As soon as I'm back in the store. It, maybe she's forgotten about your little meeting, though. If you say so, but actually... I gotta go. I'll call Mom later and tell her that you're waiting for her in... in the health center. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. going on? Your lovely boss. Does he always try to grope his customers? Uh, no, only the women. That's not funny. Uh, no, of course not. What can I say? Fuller's an asshole. Well, he's never going to see me again. Darren, would you bring the photos to the hotel? Uh, of course. My pleasure. Thanks, Darren. That's really nice of you. I'm staying at the No problem. <laughs> You'll have them this afternoon. Thanks, my hero. <laughs> See you later. Hmm. Huh. That's the guy from the diner. Is he following Angelina? Hey! You're gonna gawk her ass right off. Whatever the bitch said, it's all a dirty pack of lies. Sure. Back to work! Hey, you got the package? Yep. Well then, give it to me. How'd the photo shoot go? Ah, uh, shut up. I only mean the young lady who... That alley cat's gone, okay? No little goodbye kissy for little Darren. So now, get to work. The shelves here could use with the dusting and the gutters leaky. And you still gotta take my mama's dogs for a walk. Go back to the post office again and ask if the new photo paper's already arrived. The mailman still hasn't brought a collection note. And the store could also do with a good sweeping. He's cranky. I guess Angelina did a number on his ego. Nice job. Okay then, but before I start with all that stuff, I'd better give Mom a quick call and remind her she was going to take the pictures to the hospital. And somehow I've got to get a hold of the film so I can make some prints of Angelina's pictures without Fuller catching me doing it. The postcards all show scenes from New England. They're the regular cards you see everywhere around here. You know, that <laughs> idiot's kit really isn't too bad. And pretty expensive. The lights look brand new. He's definitely not had them for long. Many of the things here are overpriced, but that's obvious. There's only one photo store in town. He takes advantage of that. What the hell are you 
doing using my phone? While you're on the clock? I'm gonna take it out of your... Yeah, yeah, whatever. Look, I just wanted to call my mother, but it was busy. It's not gonna make you go bust. <laughs> that broad spends the whole day on the phone, right? She already called up once while I was shooting that... Some drivel about Adrian in a mirror. I hung up. I got better things to do than listen to that kind of crap. My mother called, and you didn't tell me? The old lady's not all there in the head anymore, huh? Where are you going? You're not on your own time yet! Mom? Mom! Mom! Her heart's beating, she's alive! Okay, think, Darren. I need an ambulance! Emergency? Yes. My name is Darren Michaels. I-I've just found my mother. She's unconscious. Take it to the hospital, but take it real easy. I'll be following in my car in a minute. How does it look? Difficult to say, Dan. She must have stumbled, and now she's got a serious head injury. Exactly how bad it is, we can only find that out in the hospital. But, but how can she fall so badly that she... It's not the time for that now. W was your mother taking any kind of medication? Uh, I, I don't know. She always has a load of painkillers for her back. It, it, no idea. Please, collect anything that looks like medication and bring it back to me in the hospital. What about allergies? Uh, not that I know about. <laughs> That's not good enough. Could you find out the family doctor's number? Perhaps get a hold of her medical records? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll go look. I'll see you in the hospital. Very good. Oh, yeah. And we need your mother's insurance card. That too? Uh, okay, please, can you hurry? Oh, man. Medication, insurance card, med history. I better hurry. Mom's handbag. All her papers must be in there. All right, I found the insurance card. It looks like Mom was having a cup of tea while reading, before she fell over. That's Mom's medicine dispenser. There's a box for every day of the week. She always used to joke about it. She said that because of her back, she consumed more pills a day than a whole old folks home. But she never took as much as she was actually prescribed. She always maintained that she'd just forgotten to. The old home doctor then gave her the dispenser at some point. I always found it rather stupid not to take your medicine, preferring to suffer in agony. That's gotta be most of the medication, but maybe she's got more somewhere else. I should check. Mom's bathroom. Like her old place, nothing special. We weren't poor, but my mother was always modest. And by the looks of it, so is this place. lighthouse. Underneath's a sign with Willow Creek written on it. P 
Perhaps it's from the place in England where she lived. She first came to the U.S. in her early 30s, after the accident. Aha, some medicines. Boxes, little bottles, tubes. I'll take it all with me. I think that's it. I found all the medication. I had a shower here this morning, and Mom laid on a huge breakfast. I ate some of it, for her sake. Huh. Back at uni, I usually don't eat anything in the morning. I think the furniture is still from her time in England. Quite old fashioned, but stylish somehow. What do we got here? Handkerchiefs, a glasses case, an art magazine, a few Valerian draggies. Hmm, nothing I could use. address book. I ought to find her doctor's number in there. Mom likes thrillers and horror stories. Mainly old stuff. Edgar Allan Poe and the like. Perhaps it has something to do with her time in England. She's often told me that she worked in a castle that could well have come straight out of one of these books. A plant on the windowsill. No idea what kind it is. Hmm. Looks like there's something under the flower pot. a little brass key. Let's see. It won't open. It's got a leather strap running from the back to the front cover, and there's a lock on it too. I need a key. Yes, and that's got the address book open. Now then, what was that doctor called? Dr. Wakefield. That's him. And here's his number. I just hope he's still got my mother's old medical records. When I was a kid, we used to always argue about how long I was allowed to watch TV. I used to be able to sit in front of that thing for hours. Now you couldn't get wild horses to drag me in front of one. I can count myself lucky the damn thing didn't completely frazzle my brain. Mom's into music. That's one thing we have in common. Though our tastes are a little diverse. Mom's Beethoven doesn't mix that well with Nirvana or Pearl Jam. Hopefully the number's still okay. Dr. Wakefield, 555. Dr. Wakefield's practice? My name's Darren Michaels. I, I have to speak to the doctor. It's an emergency. One moment, please. Dr. Wakefield speaking. Uh, hello, Dr. Wakefield. This is Darren Michaels. Darren, is there something wrong with your mother? Mandy said. Yes, she's been taken to the hospital. She's fallen over and, and taken a knock to the head. She's not responsive. My god. The hospital needs her medical history. Do you still have it? Yes. Yes, we must still have it here. C can you fax it over to the hospital? Yes, of course. Hopefully nothing's happened to her back. Wouldn't the support corset protect her? Not necessarily. The 
The corset supports her spine when she's standing up or sitting, but her back has been so badly affected since the accident that a fall can have repercussions. I don't think I want to know. I'll just go down to the hospital and find out there. Do that. I'll have the records sent to Biddeford. I hope your mother gets well soon. Yeah, me too. Give her my best wishes as soon as she's awake. I'll do that. See you later, Doc. Well, that's done. Dr. Wakefield has always cared well for Mom. With that back of hers, she could barely stand, sit, or lie down without causing her pain. And then she has the burns as well. And now this. I'll just get dressed and then go straight to the hospital. I hope she's all right. Hello, uh, I'd like to see my mom, Rebecca Michaels. Uh, one moment. Your mother is still being examined. Have you got the medication with you? Yes, here. Oh, and I've also got the insurance stuff. When can I... Ah, thank you, thank you. I will tell Dr. Newhouse. Please take a seat for a moment. I will let you know when you can go in and see your mother. Excuse me, Mr. Michaels? Uh, yes? There is a problem with your mother's insurance card. It, it looks like she didn't make the last payment. Uh, I don't know anything about that. And I really don't give a damn. Obviously, it's, it's a little unpleasant, but the insurance... Look, I don't give a damn about the insurance. What's happening with my mom? How long is this thing going to take? I'm sure you'll be able to see her soon. But if we can't clear up this thing with the insurance, then we've got a problem here. You'll have to... Okay, doctor. You can see your mother now. The room at the end, on the right. Mr. Michaels? I can't help it if your mother hasn't paid, or, or if the bank hasn't made the transfer, or, or if the medical insurance won't cover the treatment. Here, take the card with you and sort it out. In the end, your mother will be back on her feet, but she won't have a roof over her head anymore. Thanks. How is she? Uh, not good, I'm afraid. The wounds to her head are quite severe. She must have fallen against the table with all her weight behind her. I is she going to... One should never give up hope. But your mother's in a coma, Darren. I'm, I'm sorry, but it's rather... rather uncommon for someone to wake from a deep coma. Perhaps if, if she'd been discovered earlier, and there wouldn't have been so much bleeding in her skull. You're saying that if I'd gone to her straight after our talk, then, then she wouldn't be here now, lying in a coma? 
But my boy, you couldn't possibly have known. Yeah, yeah, how could I have known? Fuller. Uh, sorry? Fuller! She, she phoned the photo store. She, she wanted to speak to me and Fuller just hung up on her. Wait, no, that's completely... She was conscious and wanted help, but Fuller... <sighs> Darren, get a grip. It was an accident. No one's to blame, and you should just... Just... just what? Simply sit here at the bedside and hope that she gets better? I... I... I can't barely believe that. Darren! You must... Thanks for your help. I... We'll look after your mother round the clock, Darren. You're welcome to stay here. I'll pop in again later. I'm not gonna stay here. I still have things to sort out. That fat bastard's gonna pay for this.